flex that drop for me? You can drop for you. What we're doing is we have a military working dog that needs to go in for routine dental service. Uh, it's a little different this time because she is going in for root canal. She is a military member and just like all military members, they need medical care and upkeep. Obviously her mouth is her main weapon. So this is a huge opportunity to get her healthy and back into the fight. My name is Captain James Gaffney. I'm a veterinarian with the United States Army, and I'm currently stationed at Yokota Air Base, Japan, where I'm the officer in charge of the veterinary treatment facility. And this morning, we're gonna be doing a root canal on a military working dog. It's gonna be a unique experience for us since we will actually be doing it with a human provider over in the, the dental group. When I combine these in the same syringe and inject Florida, uh, she should get pretty sleepy with it. We have checked the dog's heart rate, the waveform, the blood pressure. I think it's We're really important for everyone to know that, just, uh, that we rely heavily on uh, the Army veterinarians in order to uh, not only help us out during the procedures, but train us on how to accomplish the procedures. And uh, their, their skill is uh, invaluable. We obviously wouldn't be able to, to do the procedure without them. Usually we're working on humans every day, and so working on our military working dogs is uh, definitely unique. As that propofol burns off, we're going to need to increase the gas a little bit. So we finished Florida's root canal procedure, went very well, and I'm optimistic that in a couple of weeks, Working Dog Florida will be ready to go back to her patrol mission and that her bite will continue to be worse than her bark.